What's up everyone, welcome back to Alejandro's Engineered Lifestyle. And today I'm just gonna be walking you through how to prepare your bike for the upcoming season. So first things first, you're gonna to wanna to get your bike up on stands. This will allow you to inspect the chain, uh, the sprocket, as well as evaluate for any leaks on the underside of your bike. You know, next, if you do have a second pair of eyes, you're gonna to wanna to get them on this process as well to point anything out you may miss. Um, if not, just reference this video, replay as needed. So you're going to want to take your battery off of the charger, get it installed and fire up the bike. And there's several things you're going to be listening for here. Any lumpiness or if the bike shuts off, any fuel starvation, both would indicate perhaps a spark plug or a fuel filter issue. Next, we're going to transition that into just a general inspection of the bike. Um, we're going to be looking for leaks. We're going to be looking for damaged parts or loose components as well. Next, we're going to be looking at our brakes. Go ahead and take the calipers off and inspect those pads for minimum thickness there. You can inspect without taking them off, but it's just easier this way. We're going to inspect front and rear, as well as the rotor for any warping, any high spots, or even any surface contamination that would keep us from stopping as quickly. Next, we're going to be checking out our chain. It should be clean. You really should be doing this inspection pretty much every time you go to ride, but making sure that after storage, it's still free moving. If not, give it a good clean and lube. While we're at it, we're going to be checking out our tires and uh, it doesn't take an expert to uh, determine that this cup too is completely smoked. And we're going to go ahead and wave goodbye to that in an upcoming episode. Next, we're going to be checking out our fluid levels, starting with brakes, both front and rear. I make sure these are nice and topped off. We're going to be looking at our coolant then. Uh, the 2020s have a major leak issue, and uh, that is also another video that is coming up on the channel, so look out for that. Here I'm topping off the oil. wasn't super low, but you're going to want things um, to be just above half. I think that's safe. Really clean up after topping everything off to make sure that you don't freak yourself out thinking you have a leak. There, you're just going to want to look for your reference point just to compare it uh, later down the road. So next, we're going to be looking at our suspension. Are those dust boots still good? Um, is there any damping fluid leaking out? We're going to transition into an electrical inspection. We're going to walk through all of our menu systems, all the modes and then transition that into our indicators. Drivers haven't had to look out for motorcyclists in months, so you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your ability to communicate with them, both front and rear, are all intact. Now go ahead and uh, address any inspection issues that you may have found. Um, I have videos coming up teaching you how to change your tires, as well as teaching you how to fix the coolant leak on the Duke R, so look out for that. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Cheers, guys.